Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out he's over at 7d tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we will be pulling a final message from your angels now we see here that there is somebody in your life somebody that means something to you but there's an energy a frequency that is not aligned with your true nature meaning that we right now we feel like what you're feeling from either this person or the situation that you're in just a lot of uh, mistrust and a lot of uncertainty so this could you know this could relate to a lot of different things it could be one Wondering if this person is honest with you, wondering if this person has good intentions, wondering if this person is who they say they are, wondering if this is going to go anywhere, wondering if it's ever going to get better, like these kinds of like wobbles, you know, wondering, right, this kind of like uncertainty. We want to you to always remember that it's always up to you. You get to decide how this cir uh, circumstance and situation plays out. You've just got to get clear about what you want and you need to focus on that upgrade or that expansion or that best case scenario, you've got to focus on that. You've got to really start to feel the energetic vibration of it. You've got to maintain it. You got to lock in the energy of what you want and you've got to maintain it, right? That means you got to sit with yourself in stillness for a little while uh, and not for a little while, but you know, you got to sit with yourself in stillness and, um, and, and really cut out the distraction, cut out the noise for a little while so that you can connect, lock in and maintain that energetic frequency or the vibration or the feeling state of what uh, outcome you're looking for. So you can receive ideas and guidance and clarity on the outcome you're looking for, not the situation in itself. Because right now we see here that you're caught up in old stories, which is like this energy of like crying over spilt milk, but beautiful soul looking at where you are, like looking at any problem in your life or looking at any situation in your life is only going to create a perspective that is very far removed from the actual truth. So when we are in looking at something that really feels wrong to us, we feel this pressure like we have to fix it. And when that happens, our focus goes in many different places and we become very unfocused. So we just want to remind you of one thing and one beautiful thing. And this is the journey of what's going to happen. Squirrel spirit is here first. Believe in yourself, showing you that the experiences that you are going through and have gone through are as in fact exactly what your soul has intended to go through so that you could pick up particular experiences and, uh, and, and, and remind yourself deeper of your journey here, of your purpose here, of your path here. So at this time, let go and trust in the magic. Just let go. Uh, you know, it's a great game you can play um, is you can um, make this list, okay? Make a list of all the things that you want to do or you'd like to have accomplished and then do like split like the list in half and do like what the universe will take care of, what I will take care of. And then everything that you feel overwhelmed to do or you would like to see resolved but you just don't have a clue, put it give it to the universe. Universe will take care of that for you. Write it down on the universe's side. You just write down what you need to do, you know, take care of my health, you know, make sure I connect my, my, my higher self, my inner, my frequency of vibration, excuse me, my frequency of abundance through, uh, meditation stillness, right? These kinds of things, right? Take my, feed my cat. You know what I mean? Put the things on the list that are easy for you. Then you'll be like, okay, I got this. Oh, the universe is going to take all care of all of this for me. Start to play this game with yourself because ideally we just want you to watch and wait, kind of be that neutral observer of life as we know it because you are being guided. But the thing is, is that we feel like right now you're intertwined with a lot of old programmings and a lot of old conditionings and it would be much more suffice and beneficial for you to allow your money, to allow abundance flow into your life. You've got to have a significant amount of awareness, self-awareness that is not being caught up in old conditions or old programs, but actually being like detached from that and seeing, okay, well, wait a minute, this once worked, it's not really working anymore. And I have to understand the more I keep putting energy into this thing that's not working, I'm just creating a bigger problem. So we want you to always know the degree of abundance that you allow in is the amount that you're giving out. But if you feel bad because you're focusing on things that feel bad, then you're not going to allow very much in. So write this down in the comments below, Pisces. Remind yourself, show the universe you're ready. Money flows to me easily. Money flows to me easily. Money flows to me easily. And anytime it's not, Money and love is the same thing, by the way. Anytime money or love is not flowing too easily, it means there is a connection uh, in there somewhere. So we need you to clear some energy in regards to whomever is in your life right now that is hindering you from being able to see clearly, okay? Whoever this being is for you, whoever this person is for you, they're taking up real estate in your energy field and it's not serving you, beautiful soul, it's hindering you. So whatever, 
whatever friendship this is, whatever connection this is, platonic or romantic, you are going to want to uh, remove yourself from that. So if you keep thinking about somebody and they can't get off your mind, it means there's a very strong energetic cord connected to you and that being. And you're going to want to um, have energy clearing practices that you do for yourself every single day to remove yourself from that conditioning so that you can get back connected and guided to your to your truth, to your real voice. Okay. The magician as above and so below, you have the power to connect to other worlds. You have the power to connect to other dimensions. And for those that don't understand what comes with that, that means that you are always going to be guided into the best case scenario outcome that you could ever imagine. Your higher yourself, your inner being, your, your other self, right? On the other side is always guiding you through the mountain, right? We're at the bottom going through and our higher self is on the top. We're always being guided. And so all you have to do is let go to connect to that inner voice, but you're not going to be able to connect if you have energy cords connected to people that are uh, in your life. They really don't mean anything. I'm sorry to say, but they really don't. Like at the end of the day, they really, really don't. The ones that mean something the most to you are the ones that you know you're committed to spend your life with, right? That would be your immediate family. Your spouse and your and your kids pretty much unless they live with you right like if you have, if you have beings that like live with you and you share a space okay but even then like even then you don't connect with them energetically otherwise you'll be mirroring and mim mimicking their energy and then you'll just be feeling their vibes instead of feeling your own vibes and then that will leave things very uh, uh, confusing you will feel very um uh, you feel very, uh, what's the word? Self doubt about your ideas. You'll be, you'll be stressing about the ideas that come in, stressing about how to fix things, stressing about how to make things work, right? The Ace of Swords upright is about inspiring new ideas, but in reverse, it's showing you that your mindset is all over the place, right? You're not focused in on what the, what the main thing is. What's the most important thing right now? What is the most important thing for you to establish in this particular chapter, in this particular moment that you are playing for yourself, this game we are all playing? You have a particular purpose and path right now. And the thing is, is that if you are caught up and distracted by things in your life that are not going the way you want them to, well, you're off path, right? You're off purpose, right? And so that feels really bad to us. And then we start efforting, right? And then we start trying to figure things out and how to make things work better. Um, you know, we, we kind of go through all the choices we may have, but beautiful soul, you always got to remember, right? If you're focusing on a problem and your frequency is matching and aligning with that problem, the ideas that are coming in are never going to align you with the person you want to be, you know? That's why we've got to decide and really feel energetically the person we want to be, lock into that energetic feeling and maintain it for a little bit, just vibe in it for a while. Ooh, that feels so good. I love who I am. I love that version of me, right? And then from that higher frequency place, you'll have clarity on what's going to be best for you in this present time and space because you can't achieve a high outcome from a low frequency. It's just impossible. And with the seven of cups and the four of pentacles, it's letting you know any choice that's coming in right now, you're trying to control it. There's too much control. Most often the, the, the ideas that are coming in right now aren't even gonna correlate or aren't even gonna synchronize with the real version of yourself. That's why realign yourself with, the tr with your truth, right? And that is through practices of, you know, being appreciative for as much as you can, right? As, as often as you can, as much as you can be appreciative. That's the secret sauce. Again, writing that list, what the universe will take care of, what I will take care of. You can um, meditate because meditating clears the uh, vibrational uh, clutter as much as, uh, as as much as anything, right? You can exercise to clear away the emotion stored in the body. You know what I mean? So start to maybe adopt a practice or a habit uh, of, of, of cultivating healthier habits in your life new exciting things so that you can let go of the old, right? Watch your words and you can welcome in the new beautiful soul. And that's what it's about right now, right? You got to watch your words, right? And you got to start to point your focus and you got to start talking about things to yourself that are new for you. What's exciting for you? How about talk about the best case scenario outcome? Now that would be a little bit better, wouldn't it? That would feel a lot better, right? If we get stuck in our problems, well, beautiful soul, we're just going to enhance the problem, right? We got to look beyond that. We got to go further than that. So play a game with yourself. Best case scenario game. Okay. Best case scenario game. And this is where you play a game where the only thing you talk about with you and the people around you is the best case scenario outcome for what you're looking for. Play this game with yourself and just see how your life changes. Your angel message for today is what do you desire beautiful soul? So let's go into this one here. This is a fun one. So you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. That's the truth. As soon as you know what you want, 
Like really know, like your soul's like, oh hell yes. That's how you know. And then it's just gonna come in. You're gonna get these ideas, you're gonna get these downloads. But if you don't know what you want and you're in this confusion energy and then you're trying to figure it out, well, you're just gonna welcome in ideas, but those ideas are gonna feel even more confusing. Then you're gonna feel confused, conflicted, right? And it could have everything to do with this being. If you want to help people in your life truly, you have to elevate your frequency to a place where you are not energetically connected to them. Otherwise it won't work, you won't help them. You have to evolve your frequency, expand, upgrade, okay? And then, or feel, feel happier, right? So you're not, mir you're not mirroring their energy, you're elevated and looking down at the problem so you can see the bigger picture and then understand what that person actually needs from you. Not the sympathy, you know, not the what's wrong, you know, not that what, what's going on here. That energy, that weak, weak, wobbly, fear-based energy, nobody wants that. Everyone's going to run away from that. You know what I mean? In any situation, whether it's your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your mothers, your fathers, no one likes that. You're going to get an ego reaction right off the bat because it's, it's an energy thing, right? So just pay attention to that. But when you show up ground, cool, calm, collected, and elevated, and elevated well, then there, th your, your advice and your energy is going to be so magnetic that you're actually going to be heard and recip and recepti recepted, reciprocated the way that you are intending. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.